I have an idea. I can sell my foot coins for cash. Then come to U7 Bar. Sell your coins quickly and safely with reasonable price. What is going on guys, Stephen here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And I'm sure those of you who watched The Road to Glory knew this was coming as soon as the red pick was pulled. It was inevitable that we were going to take a look at him. Ryan Kent, an absolute legend of FIFA 20, not necessarily in a good way. Uh, this time around, though, he hasn't been given any sort of significant boost. It's just a 79 rated card now worth around 20,000 coins. When the card first came out, he was holding 100k. And then, of course, rewards knocked him all the way down to about 30, 40. And since then, he's just been dropping down to around 20. Seems to settle around there. For those interested in the price, uh, I don't really envisage him dropping too much more uh, from from where we are currently. But you know, keep an eye on it. 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, and 99 agility with a five-star weak foot and four-star skills. Let's be honest. That's the reason you want this car. That's the reason you're even watching this review. Is Ryan Kent as good as he was in FIFA 20? And is is he gonna be as well, not maybe as meta because or as overpowered because we already know he isn't otherwise everyone would be talking about him but can you use ryan kent in this fifa since a lot of people are calling this fifa now fifa 20.2 or fifa 22.0 or whatever it would make sense that you could use ryan kent in this fifa and he'd actually be a good card right uh he is on only on seven chem and the reason for that is, well, you'll see in a second, but I have him as a striker. Comes out of packs as a left forward, so I just chucked him up front because I, um, I was using someone else at left mid and I didn't want to change them. I did play one or two games with him at left mid, as in starting at left mid, so he is on 10 chem. It doesn't make that much of a difference, really. Uh, I mean, you could argue that with a card being this low, you do need every single boost you can get, You like every point, so you should play him on 10 chem, but... All I really wanted to test out here was, does he feel anywhere near as fast as he did in FIFA 20? You know, that that FIFA was riddled with problems, we know that. However, this card was broken because he was so fast and so good on the ball with a five-star weak foot, which was very, very important last year. This year, it's, you know, it's desirable, but it's not ne necessary. You know, you don't need to have a five-star weak foot like you did last year. Uh, Rashford is on the left. Gaia at left back. Uh, got a red Gaia out of the second. No, it was the first pick. You know, the 10. Was it 10 wins? And then 16 wins in weekend league. Kent came out of 16 wins. And Gaia came out of 10. And we'll probably get the exact same two on. Oh, we can't get the exact same two on Thursday, can we? Because it'll be a brand new team of the week. Doi, of course. So, anyway, let's talk about Ryan Kent in game. Is he any good? Is there any point? Is he worth 20k? Because that's a little bit of an inflated price for an inform. Not by much, of course, but it is still an inflated price. I'll tell you what, he's absolutely nowhere near as good as he was in FIFA 20. Of course he's not. I mean, I, I know he had um, a Europa League live card and he also had a Summer Heat card, uh, although it was only available in draft, I think, uh, but still. I know he had, he had special cards up the wazoo in, in FIFA 20, but... This card is still usable, you know? You can still... I mean, that's the, an absolute nonsense penalty, but it is what it is. Gave him the penalty anyway, because I thought, why not? His penalties are only 66, and that's with a chem style. So, unfortunately, um, yeah, don't... I mean, I would say unfortunately. You, you, you've probably got plenty of penalty kick takers in your team. Though, proving that you don't necessarily have to have 90-plus penalty takers. And I've proved that, actually, with free kick takers as well. You don't need to have a free kick taker with 90 plus free kicks to be able to score goals. This game is very, very strange. Is he any good? I would say yes, he is good. But mainly because running in a straight line in this game works down the wing and you can play it across to the likes of Mbappe. He doesn't have very good crossing, 79. But as you can see there, even though they've quote unquote nerfed it, the it's not a low driven, is it? It's sort of like a mid-range cross with power. It's still effective, and if you have a player in that sort of position arriving at the back post, which my uh, my uh, sort of outside cams, if you will, 4-2-3-1 formation, left and right cam, they're on getting the box for the cross. Good turn from there. 
Lovely little uh, La Croqueta gets inside, loses the ball, falls back to Maradona, and he's there for the rebound. Not quite sure. Oh, no, I was going to say I'm not quite sure how that wasn't offside. But it was offside. Of course it was. But um, he did very well to, to sort of get himself into that position. His dribbling and skill moves and his pace, actually very, very good. I don't have any complaints with travelling with the ball, if you will, with this player. You know, he does have issues in other areas, and we'll talk about those in just a second. But in terms of... You know, letting him run with the ball, you can definitely do that. Little one-two scenario here with uh, with Rashford gets into the area, and that this is where the problem lies. This is where Kent falls to pieces when he gets inside the penalty area. If you're good at the game, you it doesn't matter who you have really. You can use Bernard of Everton, you know, and still be able to turn your defenders, uh, your opponent's defenders inside out, and score good goals and make your opponent look stupid. If you've got someone like Ryan Kent, you could absolutely do it. But for the average player, the casual, this Ryan Kent card is going to be very good at getting him behind. You're going to be able to run with him for the most part. But once you get in and around the penalty area, you've only got 75 composure. You've only got 70 reactions. Your crossing isn't particularly good, although we've already proven that crossing is a little bit overpowered in certain scenarios. And you can get away with it regardless. But he doesn't have very good strength. His finishing is very low without any sort of help and aid from a chem style. It's just one of those, it's kind of like me as a kid, really. Quicker than everybody else, can get there before everybody else, but then once he gets there, he doesn't really know what to do. And then half the time, he's either losing the ball, missing his chance, or just spends far too long thinking about what he can do and doesn't do anything with it. So the problem with the card is that for the casual and the average player, He's going to be a little bit too, not slow and sluggish in terms of mobility, but his composure is going to let him down. His natural finishing is going to let him down. His natural passing may even let him down. And of course, the shot power is not there. Fitting him into a team is difficult, but he's very quick in a straight line and can break defences. So if you've got a little bit of an edge at the game, if you're a little bit above average, say, you will be able to use this guy in a competitive sense. As In terms of objective, this is a managerial masterpiece nightmare for people coming up against it because you are going to be playing against what is a very fast card who can dribble better than the majority of players you'll be playing with in managerial masterpiece this is going to be an overpowered card in that mode for sort of limited um rating friendlies but in terms of like foot champs and and uh, division rivals and stuff not a card you have to worry about but Definitely someone you're going to come up against in friendlies, I'm sure. Let me know what you think of the card in the comments if you have used it or maybe you're thinking of picking it up. If you have enjoyed this review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.